Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how to install RHEL 7.064 bit or Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.064 bit. You can use this method to install this operating system on your virtual machine or any physical server as well. And you are watching LanityGate.net tutorials. If you are going to install this RHEL 7 on your virtual machine, go and download the ISO from Red Hat website and save it in your base machine so that you can start your VM and you can change your setting to boot from the ISO image what you have downloaded and kept in your local drive. All right. And if it is a physical server, just ban that ISO into a DVD and boot that server, boot the physical server using that DVD ROM. So what will happen? Either if it is a virtual machine or physical machine, it will start boot from your DVD or ISO file. All right. Once it finds the bootable OS, then the first screen after the BIOS, it will prompt to enter this option. All right, this is your welcome screen of your operating system installation. All right, as I said before, I'm going to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0, or you can call this as RHEL 7.0. All right, here you could see three options one is to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0. And the second one is to test this media and install rel 7.0 which means the first one will straight away go and install the operating system the second one will test your iso image for any corruptions for any io errors all right so it will take more time so we will skip this one all right and the last one the third option would be troubleshooting this one would be useful when you have any issue with your server where you have already installed operating system and you are not able to boot the server at that time of point you can use this option to recover your OS all right so I am just selecting the first option to install my operating system that is Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.0 just select that and hit enter All right, this is a GUI screen of RHEL 7 installation screen. Here it is prompting you to select your language by default language. Let it be the default English and English US. All right, just click continue. So this is the main screen where you have to select your options. All right. This is your complete installation summary. If you wanted to change anything, you could change any option on this screen. All right. So one by one, we'll see the first one is date and time. By default, it is in America, New York time zone. If you wanted to change, just click here. And here you could select your country. Let me select this and click done or using this pull down option. Also, you can select your region as well as the country. All right. Just make it done. All right. Then the keyboard one and the language support. These are the options you could change over here. All right. Here we need to consider only the main thing. You should not see this kind of exclamation mark. All right. Here you have to fix this exclamation mark. Then only you can go ahead for installation all right now the source would be my local media by default and the software selection 
here you could select the packages to be installed all right if you are going to install if you are going to use this server for web server then here you could go and select the optional packages depend on your server all right for example if you want to install a web server just select this one what will happen by default packages will be selected over here but the good thing on rel is let it be installed with the default packages later on once the installation is done you can you can install any of your packages after the installation as well right so for this demo i just go with the default option minimal install let it be just make it done and as i told you before we need to clear this exclamation mark if not you cannot go ahead for installation all right so what is the error we'll see what it is showing is the error is automatic partitioning selected all right this is just a warning all right just click here review this of your hard disk and here you have two option to partitioning of your disk should i go for automatically configure partition or you are going to configure it manually all right if you give this option what will happen you have to define your partition size for example if you want slash to be 10 gb or slash to be 20 gb and you want sometime slash where to be 15 gb so all these things you can customize your partition but if you give automatically configure partition what will happen it will configure your it will configure the partition automatically all right if i'm having 10 gb automatically it will create the partition and it will start install the os all right this is a demo so i just go with the default option but if you are going to customize the partition just click here and done here you could select your partitions just click this plus or right, click here to create them automatically or just click this 10 sorry just click this plus and here you can give the mount point for example let's say for uh, slash i'm going to give a customized size i could give in this format all right and just give add mount point this is how we can do, customize it all right so i don't want this one let it be the automatic one automatic configure partitioning all right make it done it is just giving you a warning that already they have some existing os you want me to continue or not if you are freshly installing any os it won't give you this kind of screen i am going i am going to format my existing os that is what it is giving me an option to reclaim the space let me format it completely that is what reclaim space all right this is my existing format so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete all my existing partitions all right now if you see the exclamation mark has gone all right so everything clear and here also you can configure the ip address on this screen itself if you want to configure if you have multiple screen multiple network card you can select this and you can configure the ip address over here all right and if you want to change host name you can change your host name as well here all right all right let me start just click this begin installation to continue the installation so the installation has been started the it is in progress and here you could see two options are in estimation the installation has been started and here you could see the progress of it as well as you could see two exclamation mark over here as there is no user are in this os as well as by default you'll be having a root user but the password is not set all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to set a password for this root because we need one valid Linux user to log into the machine. Either you set a root password or create a new user. All right. I'm going to set a password for root. Give some basic password and make it oh, done. All right. 
it is just giving me a warning as it's a normal password let it be one more time i'm giving done all right excellent now if you see on this user creation as well that exclamation mark has gone because i need one valid linux user with password here already one user is there on rel that is root only pending was password is not set right i have set now so i can log into my machine using this root as username and the password what i have set now so let the installation complete after that you will get a screen and option over here as to reboot all right just click that reboot your machine will get reboot and you will get a login prompt let's wait for that so the installation is completed now so here you get the status as complete and go and reboot to start your machine all right so let's do this reboot all right this is your uh, bootloader option the first one would be normal boot and the second one would be rescue mode all right let it be the default one automatically it will take you to the login prompt all right this is your first screen after the installation all right here type the username as root because we have not yet created any users all right so we have only the default administrator user that is root all right now you have to enter the password what you have set during the installation done that's it i'm logged in so this is how we install the linux os that is rel 7.0 or red hat enterprise linux server all right so the same procedure you can follow for any other linux platforms for example centos fedora everything you can follow the same procedure only the appearance and the screens would be different but the concept are very similar all right if you find this video is helpful please do appreciate our effort and leave your comments and thanks for watching this video